the police. They're saying that they needed some assistance in writing reports. And they're going to let AI help them. Well, the body cam service, Axon, they said that, uh, well, excuse me, Axon, the popular, uh, the public safety contractor that popularized the taser, not the body cam, but the people who uh, popularized the taser, they launched a new product that is less active Actively terrifying, but still vaguely concerning, as the report says, all right? And it says, with an AI-powered software program that lets cops automate their police reports. <laughs> I can't make it up. This is what it's saying. All right? They're saying that the new product is called Draft One, and they're saying that Draft One is a new software product that drafts high-quality police report narratives in seconds. The software is powered by the powerful LLM GPT-4, so they're actually using chat GPT, and can supposedly write reports by auto-transcribing audio from the police body cameras that Axon sells, all right? So they're also saying that Axon is pitching a new software as a way to reduce police officer or police office work so that cops can spend more time in the community. They're saying now this is the police. Th this is the press release. Let me go ahead and bring this down for you so you can see the pr press release in in the fine print. All right, let y'all see that fine print. They say police departments across the U.S. are understaffed, while agencies are emphasizing hiring and retention. Demand to fill open role roles is low. The shortage results in longer response times to calls for service and officers working overtime, which can lead to burnout and be cost for taxpayers. Ultimately, the draft one has the potential to augment and amplify officers, giving them back their time to better serve their communities. Now, a lot of people are saying, uh-uh-uh, no, this ain't this this ain't cool. I, I'm not I'm not feeling this. They're saying that uh uh the, the 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 product is designed to solve problems for the police, but it could also host problems for everyone else. They're saying that surveillance technology investigates directors at the Electronic Frontier Foundation called the new product kind of a nightmare and said, hold up, that most cops are not trained in using AI and therefore may, be not, therefore may not be used to recognizing, uh, you know, uh, using this technology. And then they also said that uh, they're not feeling this and they're saying AI has been known to hallucinate that is to make up gibberish at the same time and it seems possible that the police could, in certain cases, use the software to absolve themselves of legal responsibility. Now, that is if someone questionable were to crop up a police report. And the report was written with Axon's software, all right? So they said that it seems plausible that cops could falsify uh, or blame the software uh, for mistakes or inaccuracies that were actually inserted by a human. Um, so basically they're saying that there's some pushback on this, but Axon is saying that for this to work, you have to be able to, they'll let the AI do its technology, but then it has to be signed off by a human. That's what they're claiming that it has to be. Um, they're also saying that, uh, the range of critical safeguards have been instituted into draft one that every report generated by the software is required to be reviewed and approved by a human officer ensuring accuracy and accountability of the information before reports are submitted. Still, the comfort you take in those assurances probably depend on how much confidence you have that on, on that police officer and making sure that they do their jobs correctly. All right. So this is in the fine print. I want you to see it right there. Uh, they're also saying that draft one has, they has not been widely deployed yet. And although the company says that its trials with law enforcement agencies have helped those agencies save approximately an hour per workday, um, they're saying that uh, the Colorado police services claim that the software has allowed his agency to see an 82% decrease in time spent writing reports. So basically they're saying, Hey, um, I'm going to arrest you or I'm going to take down this police report. And then they're basically going to use the body cam to try and use the audio. They're going to use the software. And once they use the software, that's when the software will generate everything that was said in that conversation. And then they're going to put that into the report. It could be generated in a matter of seconds. Someone has to read it. 
It has to be signed off by a human. And then that is now the new police report. I don't know if I'd like this technology, but it also, I also feel like, Hey, this could make their life a little bit easier. So I don't know if that, eh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in the middle on this one. So the question is, how do you feel about this? Uh, do you think draft one should be accessible to the police? Um, do you think it should be uh, accessible to the police? Let me know in the comments right here. Uh, one, yes, this allows more time to be on the streets policing. Two, no, human error is bad enough. Now we are allowing LLM error. That's the learning language model. Uh, three, everyone is relying on AI. This has to stop. Four, the technology is too early. I could see it in a few years. Or five, I can see the police using this to favor themselves. One, two, three, four, five. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think draft one should be accessible to the police? It's the Lab Tech Show. Join us Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern at thelabtechshow.com. Embrace it or get left behind. All righty then.